guys, I'm here to teach you the pediatric BLS, which is very, very important technique for your examination as well as uh, for the clinical point of view, because you may need this technique to save a life. The pediatric BLS, as the name stands for pediatric basic life support, is needed when someone is not responding. If you found someone who is on the floor, maybe somewhere unresponsive child. So this is very, very important technique. You may be asked to teach your colleagues or you may be asked to teach the parents of an unwell child. You may be anxious about it. Do not worry. I'm going to make it very, very simple for you. The common problem why they go into the cardiorespiratory arrest is the problem with the breathing and they may develop choking from the foreign bodies from the twice they can sometimes put in the throat and they may deteriorate which is why we start the pediatric bls by providing five rescue breaths that's the initial step that is a major difference from the adult bls as well in adult bls we start by providing them the chest compressions whereas in children we start by providing them five rescue breaths now talking about where you are sitting whether you are in the hospital or out of the hospital you may need to follow two different protocols or if it is a medical colleague then you teach them the algorithm that we normally use in the hospital that is providing them the five rescue breaths then 15 chest compressions and two rescue breaths if you are in the community and or you are going to teach to the parents about providing the BLS then you can simply use the adult BLS protocol with a little modification in the beginning which is providing five rescue breaths just to make it easy for the parents that is a major difference if you are in the community you start with the five rescue breaths and 30 to 2 chest compressions and rescue breaths. If you are in the hospital, then you start with 5 rescue breaths and 15 to 2 chest compressions and rescue breaths. That is the major difference. Say for example, this is an unresponsive patient who is child. So you need to try to get the response. If the child is not responding, then you may need the BLS. Try to shake the patient hello 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 no response shout for the help 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 and open the mouth with head tilt chin lift and look for the signs of life look listen and feel for 10 seconds okay if you don't find any response the next thing that you need to do in this case is pinch the nose open the mouth and give five rescue breaths Make sure that you make a tight seal around the mouth. And at the same time, look, look for, for the sure. movement of the chest as well. Okay. Then you jump onto the chest. Use the palm of your hand. Put on the lower part of the sternum, interlocking and give them chest compressions. If you are within the hospital, you are going to give 15 chest compressions and back on the mouth and give two rescue breaths until you get the response and make sure that you've already called double two double two if you are in the community then you need to start by giving five rescue breaths 30 chest compressions then two, two rescue breaths and 30 chest compression that's all about it